The National Mag Lab is using our unique instruments to find new energy sources. Meet the team who is exploring whether the future may be able to be fueled by bacteria. Hi, my name is Huan Chen, a staff scientist at Iron Cyclotron Resonance User Facility at the National Mag Lab. At our user facility, we use an advanced analytical technique called Fourier Transform Iron Cyclotron Resonance Mass Spectrometry, FTSERMS, to solve complex environmental problems. One example is to characterize the lipids of cyanobacteria for biofuel production. We know that fossil fuel is a finite resource. It releases over 30 billion tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere each year, leading to climate change, pollution, and the respiratory illnesses. Cyanobacteria, on the other hand, are photosynthetic microorganisms that can capture the carbon dioxide released from the fossil fuels, produce lipids, which can be converted to high-energy biofuel. This makes them the most promising feedstocks of the third-generation biofuel. Recently, MATLAB has been working in collaboration with the Morgan State University under a grant awarded by the National Science Foundation, Division of Chemical, Bioengineering, Environmental and Transport Systems. This three-year grant allows us to explore the impact of nanoparticles on cyanobacteria for biofuel production. The lead principal investigator is Dr. Wichi Sither from Morgan State University. Hello, this is V.G. Sitar, Associate Professor of Biology at the Morgan State University, which is one of the top 10 HBCUs. This is our first research grant with the MAGLAB. We thank the support from NSF, which provides us access and training to world-class instrumentation at the MAGLAB. In my lab, students use bioavailable nanoparticles to boost the growth and lipid production in Fremula diplosiphon, which is a model cyanobacterium. The interaction of iron nanoparticles with cyanobacteria creates oxidative stress inside the cells. This stress is desirable because the nanoparticles will enhance lipid accumulation as a cellular defense mechanism to combat the stress inside of the cells. We use the lipids that the organisms produce to make biofuels. Formella diplosiphon has high adaptability and grows in red or green light due to complementary chromatic adaptations. This is how the organism looks under a scanning electron microscope. These are filaments showing the localized nanoparticles. We are looking at oxidative stress caused by nanopart 25S nanoparticle on mRNA and lipid produced in nanotreated cyanobacteria. Once we transesterify the structural lipids, characterization of polar and non-polar lipids will be done at the mag lab. Once we receive the extracts from the Morgan State University, some extracted lipids will be converted to fatty acids methyl esters, the primary molecules in biodiesels. The composition of these compounds will be determined by an analytical technique called gas chromatography mass spectrometry which separates and detects volatile compounds in the gas phase. In addition, the known volatile fraction of lipid extracts from the nanotreated cyanobacteria will be characterized by a TICR MS coupled with liquid chromatography. Liquid chromatography improves the electrospray ionization efficiency and when combined with FTICR MS can significantly extend the lipid coverage. These techniques available at the MAG lab will provide the determination of elemental compositions for individual compounds present in the lipid extracts. Determine the composition and the chemical properties of the lipids will allow us to measure the quality of the biofuel produced by the nanoparticle-treated cyanobacteria cells. 
the novolipid compounds will be further fragmented to obtain additional structural information. Since we can better characterize the lipid profiles of the cyanobacteria, we will be able to compare the differences in biofuels derived from cyanobacterial strains. This is a noble approach of using nanoparticles to enhance lipid production in cyanobacterial cells will offer a pathway to an affordable, environmentally safe, renewable energy alternative. If you are interested and have questions, please feel free to email us.